welcome to Thumb Wins End of the Road in Michigan podcast. We select one of our amazing stories about the Great Lakes region and the tip of Michigan's thumb each week. These are taken from thumbwind.com and presented here so that you can listen to them anytime, anywhere. If you'd like to collect vintage dishware, this is a story for you. Today we look at one of the most collected dish patterns that are loved by millions. But is there an underlying problem with this beloved dish pattern? So sit back, relax, and enjoy this week's tale from the end of the road. Today's story If you have these vintage Corel dishes in your cottage, camper, or cabin, should you stop using them now? We love our vintage Corel dishes at the cottage. They are the same brand that I had growing up as a kid. They are lightweight, practically indestructible, and easy to clean. Whenever we are in a thrift store, it's not uncommon for us to snatch up an old piece or two that matches our pattern. As a result, we have a nice set that can sit up to 12 guests on those summer days when we have a walleye fish fry on the back porch. What is wrong with our Corel vintage dishes? My wife was looking up something on cookware and ran across this nugget of information on the internet. A website called Lead Safe Mama was testing and presenting lead testing results of vintage cookware. We were floored at what the site was showing. Picture after picture of dishes and cookware we use in our cottage and home. The site indicated the dishes all have high lead levels in the decorative pattern. It turns out that Corning and others were using lead in the pattern paint up until the mid-2000s. We never received notice that this was present, until now. Should you stop using these dishes? While the independent consumer goods testing work of Lead Safe Mama, LLC is frequently challenged by vintage dishware fans, who are usually quite upset when they first learn that their dishes may not be safe for food use, it turns out that even Corel recommends that you stop using pieces made before 2005 for functional food use purposes. Lead Safe Mama reached out to Corel after they found high lead levels in the painted colorful decorative elements of many Corel pieces. A representative from Corel confirmed that the company knew that they used lead in their pieces through the mid-2000s and told the site the company stopped using lead in their decorative dishware patterns in about 2005. Corel asks owners to use the old dishes and cookware for decoration. In an email exchange reported by a fan of Lead Safe Mama and Corel, the company issued the following response about lead on their older products. They quoted, before the 1990s, virtually all glass and ceramic were made anywhere in the world contained lead as primary ingredient in the decorating fluxes and glazes. All our products have been lead-free since the mid-2000s. Lead content has never been regulated until recently. We recommend using the items you have as decorative pieces. We hope this information is helpful. It's more than Corel dishes that have lead paint. Lead Safe Mama has been writing and alerting folks on this topic for over three years. Lead Safe Mama found that Corel pieces have been high in lead and cadmium since shortly after Lead Safe Mama started testing consumer goods for toxicants using XRF technology in 2019. Lead Safe Mama's site has listed many dishes, bowls, casserole dishes, and Pyrex measuring pieces that they have tested and reported on. Too many to list out here. Needless to say, we likely have about 50 pieces between our cottage and home that may be headed to the attic. Is it safe to use new Corel dishes? According to Lead Safe Mama, Corel is a worldwide letter in producing lead-free dishware. In addition, they promote their basic white items as one of the most reliable lead-free dishware solutions on the market today. One of their designs, Bella Fienza, has the detail embossed into the glass as a texture, not a painted design. These embossed Corel dishes are all lead-free, as long as there are no colored elements. Lead-free simple white ones with no ornamental embellishments. Why is this much lead a problem? It just takes a tiny quantity of lead to poison a child, or any human, and other than lead safe mama, no one is presently examining the potential impact of eating from leaded vintage dishware. But Snopes says this is unproven. In a six-year-old posting on Snopes.com, an alleged fact-checking site, 
they contend that the testing and warnings posted by Lead Safe Mama are scare lore. In addition, the site alleges that the lead testing that Lead Safe Mama has paid a third party accredited testing agency to do on these vintage dishes and cookware is unproven. The Snopes article says that the FDA indicated that the ware is not necessarily unsafe because it is old, but it may not comply with current FDA standards. They really know how to confuse the story. Consumer Reports recommends you should test your vintage or imported dishes for lead ASAP. Late last year, Consumer Reports magazine posted an article, Why You Should Test Your Vintage or Imported Dishes for Lead ASAP. The lead content and imported and antique dishes were the emphases of the story. According to Consumer Reports, while imported ceramics is the main source of worry, consumers should also be aware of the possibility of lead exposure through thrift shop dishware or antique ceramics passed down from generation to generation. New Hampshire Public Health Services Issues Warning On May 20, the New Hampshire Department of Health and Human Services posted a warning on their Facebook page about older Corel dishes. They quoted, If you own Corel dinnerware from before 2005, consider removing it from your kitchen cabinets due to concerns for high levels of lead. Corel recommends using their pre-2005 dishes as decorative pieces. Corel indicated that it would begin a testing program for its older product lines in response to this warning. They quote, given the recent demand for use of vintage products every day, we are further investigating pre-2000 Corel products to confirm they comply with today's safety standards and whether it's okay to use pre-2000 product as everyday dinnerware. To see all the vintage Corel dishes Lead Safe Mama tested for lead. Lead Safe Mama is doing excellent service. The site's author has been working on this issue for years, and her efforts look to continue. Sadly, we will not be using these old dishes. I'm glad to know this bit of food safety information that no one else seems to have covered. For more information about the lead found in these and other vintage dishes, click here. Perel recommends using their pre-2005 dishes as decorative pieces due to concerns for high levels of lead. This concludes this week's story. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Thumb Wins End of the Road podcast. If you like this kind of tale, you are invited to subscribe to our podcast. Just search for The End of the Road in Michigan from wherever you're listening from. Please watch for and download next week's podcast and take a moment to give us a review. Have a great day.